forward it before, I think. Okay, well, great. Um, did you get our written offer as email also? Have you received that and had a time to look at that? Yeah, I just, you know, I just looked through it. Okay, super. So it might... It might or it might not occur to you what we're what what we're trying to do here, and I want to spend a few minutes with you if I can, and let you ask me all the questions that you you have, and I probably have a few questions too. And if it's not a good fit, it's okay. Tell me no, and but hopefully we'll be able to make it a good fit. And does that all sound okay to you? Yep. Okay, great. Um, what? Let's just start out with what's important to you. Um, it looks like you've got a nice property here, 20 acres and three bed, three bath. Um, it looks like an expensive place. I mean, as, as far as, uh, you know, places go, I mean, but it looks like it's probably worth it. So um, I'm surprised it's not gone already, Paul. What's how, how come it's not sold? You got any ideas? I haven't, uh, haven't been pursuing it too hard. I had it listed uh, for a couple months last summer. Yeah. That's about it. That might be when I saw this before, and I was thinking about it then. Um, but Alec and I, we are landlord investors, and what we want to do is, well, we saw your property on Zillow again, and we said to ourselves, man, we should call him and see about making a written offer because – what we want to do is we'd like to talk to you about um, putting some good people in there that will buy the property from you. And in the process, um, we'll make a little money charging them a fee, but we're smart enough to know that this has to all fit you first. So is, is that something, a, a lease with a, a purchase during the time frame of the lease uh, and I believe what we were talking about before was a, a 24 month lease in the written offer. Is, if you, would you be open to leasing it for 24 months and then selling it during that time frame for this purchase price of 599? Yeah. Okay. okay, great, great. Well, what questions might be questions that are pressing in your mind that, that you would have for me any anything about a written offer that stands out to you that you need to know or would like me to explain um so i'm getting a monthly payment even if there's not renters in there well what we want to do is is we want to make a relationship between some new people that haven't been introduced yet and when we introduce them, we'd like to step out of the way and just let you and them have a relationship together where they pay the rent directly to you. Okay. So in the worst case scenario where if they stop paying the rent, oh, let's say, and we don't suspect that would happen. And, and I'll explain to you why. But in the worst case scenario, let's say they stop making rent payments 12 months up the road and they move out. Well, what we would like to do is we'd like to promise you that we would replace them with someone that would continue the same process that we're talking about here today. And when we do replace them, we'll collect money from them up front and then reimburse you for whatever payments that were missed. Does that make sense, Paul? Okay. Yep. But just to say I signed this this week. That doesn't mean I'm getting a rent check this month. Uh, no, sir, because we, we really haven't had time to talk to anybody about the property without your permission. I mean, frankly, we really, this, uh, this agreement really is just a permission slip for the most part for us to get started. And what Alex and I want to do is bring somebody to the table that, that we can run through a complete battery of checks. So like the background screen, the credit checks, the, the income verification, rental history, the whole nine yards. We want them to sit down with a home mortgage lender and get a good plan for purchasing the home at that price during that time frame. And then we want to present them to you and let you give us the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Like you might not like them, so we wouldn't want to move forward if that were the case. But but hopefully, you know, there'll be good folks that, that pass all the background checks and everything's great and you do like them, in which case they can start making payments 
as soon as they as soon as you guys decide you you want them to move in yeah same with the down payment yes that sir comes when they yes sir because we yeah we'll be collecting and that then, from them yes um but can i have this listed with a realtor during all this time well that's up to you um I don't know how your realtor would feel about that. Um, your realtor might be deeply offended <laughs> or your realtor might be okay with it. I don't know what kind of relationship you have with your realtor, but sometimes people enter into what's called an exclusive listing agreement with the realtor. And so they don't, they don't really give themselves an opportunity to do that, but you, you may have talked to the realtor or may talk to the realtor yet still, and the realtor says, uh, yeah, do whatever you want. If I can bring a buyer, I will. But if you find somebody, that's okay too. Okay. And, and, and in that case, yeah, I'm okay with doing that. But I don't want to create any problems for you really or, or us. But mostly it would be problems for you because the realtor might get mad at you. Well, with uh, my agreement with the tenant, have to terminate before I could sell it. Are you saying that? Oh no! What I'm saying is, is um, while we're while we're in the process of locating a tenant and and getting all of the background checks and everything done, and then getting your approval, um, it might work out okay with the realtor if they're inclined to be cooperative that way to to let to let them look for someone while we're looking um trying to approve yeah. and all of that but once someone's placed in the home and they put money down there's no way you can just hey by the way i've sold the house to somebody else and you're out that that would create lawsuits for you it is okay. yeah does that make sense yep. so i know there's probably a lot to think about here um any any other questions pop into mind right away not at the moment. Okay. It doesn't occur to me that this might be the solution you were hoping it was. Uh, it doesn't sound like it is. Am I correct? I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine with uh, moving on with this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's great. All right. I I thought I thought perhaps otherwise, but that that's super cool. Um, if you if you have questions for me, feel free to ask. Um, but really, all we would really need to get started is just your permission. So if you were to agree to the agreement and execute the agreement there with your signature, uh, we would get started right away seeking that individual um, and putting them through the battery of checks and then presenting them to you and then collecting down payment in the first month's rent and so on and so forth. So when do you think you'd be ready to get going with this? If, if you feel like this would work for you, when, when would be a good time to get started? I got to talk to my wife, but I think this week could work out maybe. Okay. Okay. That, that, that'd be awesome. So if you want to talk to her, that's great. And then, you know, you might have some more questions for us too. At that point, she might think of yep. some, and yep. I want you to know that the agreement we've sent you really doesn't really require much of you. Um, it's like I said, more of a permission slip to get started. So um, if you have any questions or her, just feel free to text Christina or Alex or I or, or reach, call us back or whatever, because we're available to try to help answer whatever questions you may have. And like I said, you and her may decide that it's not a good fit and that's okay if you just tell us no. But but if you do want to get going, then we'd love to hit the ground running. Is that fair? Would there be, you bet, would there be more paperwork than just what I looked at? That would be our permission slip to do what we just explained. Now, when we bring the, the person to the table and you give us the, if, if you approve of them, then you will 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 probably recommend that you enter into a more substantial rental agreement with them at that time than what this is. D does that make sense? That'd be yeah, and that'd be about the end of the paperwork. 
Yes, that would be about the end of the paperwork for until they go to purchase the home during that time frame, and then there'll be the regular purchase and sale agreement and the title company or closing attorney and all of that. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds fine. This is kind of a higher end house. Yes. Uh, a lot of square footage on three levels. Yes. I built it myself 25 years ago. It looks really cool, man. I, I was thinking too bad it's so far from where I'm at because I'd like to buy it myself, frankly. I'm, I really feel hopeful about right. it. Yeah, I, I feel hopeful about bringing somebody the to the table. Yep, the house is nice, but the views are the best in the world, I yeah, think. I, I think really... I can tell, yeah. I mean, I can tell a little from the photos, I mean, but <laughs> it sure does look. Is that snow in the photo on Zillow? Probably on far off mountains there. Yeah. It's a crazy mountain range. Yeah. I think out that way. Yep. Do you have, uh, you have elk yeah, and got snow most of the year. What kind of wildlife wanders up there? Yeah. We, yeah. We got elk, deer. I like elk. We got, uh, state land a half a mile away, half wow. a mile walk. That's where I go bow hunting for elk right there. Sure. Well, that's uh, it's private land right across the fence there. So oh, that's a good cool. opportunity for elk. There's deer in the yard every day. That's great. It it's a um, dream. It's a dream home for somebody. That's for mountain. sure. How, how come you're leaving it? Do you mind me asking? Yeah. My wife once we got we were homeschooling. Yeah. But now our daughter's going to public school, uh, and it's about 25 miles away. So mm. she don't want her driving through the canyon. We want to be uh, close to town. I see. Yeah. That. That makes sense. Well, um, it'll be a beautiful home for somebody. So I, I'd love to get going on this, uh, Paul. So when, whenever you and your wife are ready, um, holler out at us. Okay. If we don't hear from you by, oh, let's say next Tuesday, we'll probably hit you up again. Okay. Is that fair? It is. Uh, yep, that looks, sounds good. It is an option, too, for a second home because there's no maintenance to the house. It's easy to heat. You can be there or not be there. It takes yeah. care of itself. So if yeah. people want to live there a couple months in the summer, that fits, too. I agree. And uh, the fact that it's got a 48 by 24 barn on it, that's pretty incredible, too, really. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm I'm very hopeful, Paul, that we can pull off what we're talking about here, you know, um, but uh, we, you know, we won't know till we get started for sure. And I I really think we, we got a great shot at it, though. Okay, sounds good. All right, so I'll leave you be tonight and anything, anything else you think of, just text me or, or Christina or whatever number you got, it's all us. And, uh, okay. and we'll get right back with you. Is that cool? Sounds real good. All right. Thanks. Thanks. And we'll talk soon, Paul. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye for now.